What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Lomira, Anyong. I'm Curtis. Disrespectful. I'm Keith. I'm Mike Tyson. <laughs> nah, <Nice laughs> <that>. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the vibes, man. It's Tay Day. Happy birthday, Tay. Happy birthday, Tay. Happy birthday, If you're not on the Patreon, you're definitely going to want to join. It's early and exclusive content. BTS Run, Rise of Bang Tang, uh, live performances. Everything basically BTS related that you guys love. It'll be some other Tay tracks on there that's not going to be on the YouTube. Definitely join. Our Army Redeemers are the shit, and that community is decent. Welcome to the best fucking YouTube channel ever. Let's jump into Tay's inner child. Inner child. This sounds like, this sounds very Freudian. Like flex, the best YouTube channel. Huh? The best YouTube channel. Ever. That'd be like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't think I don't <laughs> think that's a, a gas though, bro. Mm. Nah, I don't think so either. So many people be fake as fuck. <laughs> like, oh my god, that was the hypest video ever. It was mid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm paying attention. Slap at a concert. That's all I'm thinking about. This shit nobody at concerts like. This sounds like the last song you play in a um, in an encore. Right before you go off stage. Hell yeah. And it's like all sweaty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On me. Because it has that unifying sound. Like you get the crowd all together and everybody's all hyping. Thank you. We love you, Houston. Good night. And you just yeah. kind of get That's the fuck off the stage. <laughs> We love you, Ami! <laughs> you know how we said like my universe is like stadium music? This Hell has yeah. that same kind of feel, like Definitely that feel. Definitely everybody up. Like the whole crowd up there jumping with the fucking glow sticks. <laughs> Strobe like one of <laughs> Somebody going off in the bank. I want to think that's Tay. <laughs> I like it. Well, I feel like they could be in a fucking like commercial for like oh, for like something and save the earth for yeah. it. Bro, that, that could be on a couple of different we things. It could be so many applications for recycling. <laughs> earth That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like just the recycling people, trash people cleaning up the world. We gonna change. change. 
I'll tell you when we get off there. <laughs> I was going to say something. Okay, so. Dutty man. <laughs> start from the left. You probably know what I was going to say. That's um, not good. <clears throat> okay. I like the vibe on this song. Yeah, I do too. Um, it's nice. It kind of, I don't know, maybe I might have it wrong. It's kind of like, like, like he was older talking to his younger self, almost. Like, because <laughs> I think as adults, you try to, you grow up so fast, and then there's these points where you think back to your childhood and, like, how you viewed the world different, but then, like, how simple things were for you at that point. Mm -hmm. So, like, it kind of gave me that feel, like, kind of holding on to that inner child because it's, like, there's a lot that happens as you get older and you change and, mm -hmm. and you know, whether it be more responsibilities, life experiences, whatever, and, like, trying to hold on to that little spark of, like, innocence is always something that you can think back to how you were as a kid or how you view things. Um, I like it, though. I, like, I, might, I might download that joint. I might download that joint. That's one for a drive, just blasting it. Mm -hmm. it we nice. gonna change. So, yeah, I rocked with it. A yeah, lot of his songs feel very reflective, too. Uh, that's, that's literally what they're talking about in here, just how the song is reflecting is on his younger self. Yeah. Um, Inner Child, co-written yeah. by Elise Maya. Uh, I guess he wrote, uh, he writes for like J-Lo, Sia, Molly Cyrus, and some other people and stuff. Mm. You know what, I'm about, writing, yeah. tell you, you know what? I'm glad you it. said Sia. I'm manifesting this. I'm thing. getting in the studio with him. We writing this song. I'm write and produce a song for him. Who, the dude or yeah. V? <laughs> 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 Come on I now. I wonder how much V would have to say for herself because out of everybody, I think, isn't he the only one that wanted like to be an idol growing up and stuff? Like, as far as like, he literally in middle school, I mean elementary school, I know, wanted to be a professional singer. Oh yeah, well, I know uh, other people. He wanted came. to be a, a, a saxophone player. He was yeah. he was that was his thing, the saxophone. Cookie, who was he saw G Dragon mm -hmm. and said that's what made him want to be an idol. So yeah, you probably yeah. yeah All definitely. that just to say, like I'm pretty sure he's living the dream that he wanted anyway Yo, from being younger. I see him. He's always ha like I said. That's one of the things that kind of pulled me towards you know bias in him. He's Always cool as shit, but he's always happy as hell too. He's like, you know, I kind of see myself in, in him and somewhat, you know what I'm saying? With just like kind of like the cool factor. Not to mention you throw that shit on too, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's just, that's just kind of, he's always kind of like, just how like J Hope's always, always smiling. He's always just like joking and just, you know, kind of just having fun and shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, and this song is. This this song is dope. I actually like this a lot. Um, it kind of reminds me of Moon, actually, as far as the beat and oh, uh, tempo and everything like that. I, that's the first thing I thought of when I heard it. So they got similar, got a couple songs that's similar. Him and uh, Jin. So that's that's pretty dope. I but. know that the Redeemer's gonna be right in the comments. Like it's a lot, re it's a lot performance to this. Cause I know it, it should probably go hard. Whatever a lot of performances, yeah, I know it, it go hard. Crazy. This, this I know this ring off in the jaw. In the, in the. Uh, I don't know why stadium. I want him sweating. Like you said, almost. Like, this, this, is, like this, the, this gotta be like the last. This, this is like <laughs> end night. Um, he's gonna close it out with uh, inner child. <laughs> 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 Right, fireworks going off in the yeah. background, like mm -hmm. the whole crowd yes. jumping with the lights in their hand. If that. I'm shooting a music video for this, it's a montage of all the concerts. Yes, uh, permission to dance tour footage. That's what it feels concert. like. Yeah. It feels like a celebration song at the end of a movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like when manifest. you get the freeze frame. She went to school and graduated with honors. Yeah, because this, <laughs> this one, your album. This one, oh. uh, yeah, this one seven. Hey, this one episode seven. So, yeah. It's yeah. probably pulling up the rear, yeah. I promise you. Yeah, I thought this was really solid. I really enjoyed um, hearing this kind of side of his voice, like, throughout the tracks that we've been, you know, getting into tonight. I feel like this was one of the more, um, the upper registers of the voice that we had heard from him. A lot of it was more somber and reflective, which mm -hmm. I do enjoy those, but I thought this was also really nice. Just add into that versatility and catalog that, like, you can kind of, like, go anywhere you want, like, yeah. as far as, like, you know, there's no proverbial box that he can be like put in or anything like that like it's just he has that ability to basically do anything it seems like and i know that's true with a lot of bts members and everything whether we're talking about rap or their vocals or you know anything like that so i mean just another thing that really makes the group special overall but um 
on the the song itself i thought the idea of kind of i did get the sense that he was talking to his younger self mm -hmm. um just that that reflective you know as you were saying um i like that the it starts off saying basically like you remember when you know you were looking up in the stars and just that 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 feeling that you know that light in your eyes kind of like just that that passion yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything yeah, like, oh. that innocence so like and then you know then when he gets to the latter part of the song and he mm -hmm. says um at the rose covered with thorns mm -hmm. or something like that about um your yesterday mm -hmm. so you just kind of see that progression of the change of basically like this is who you were you were so filled with that light that excitement um and now you're so like you know kind of broken but there's still that beauty if you're tying it yeah. to a rose obviously and you see that in love songs all the time but the part that really was like the the connecting part for me like mm -hmm. the part that you know made it all tie together thematically was um he basically said take my hand you know stare into my eyes basically see my whole universe and let that like kind of reflect on you um basically just see that like this side you know like basically bringing someone back from that darkness when they had lost that innocence and just kind of just showing that there's potential out there mm. it felt it felt really hopeful on top of reflecting yeah like so it felt optimistic at the end no nah, real shit that's why i said the whole this sound like one of those like save the earth kind of like type joints. It just it, it's it seemed like so many applications to just the whole we gonna change mantra and the you know this yeah. this shit slap and even the lyrics. <laughs> I, I thought there was a little bit of juxtaposition in the lyrics in the beginning when it was like you know it's, it's a um, good vibe, you know it was a summer's day. Um, it was so cold and like gray and desolate and you're just thinking like well that's summer so i don't know if that proverbial summer is like the youth like the youth full time in someone's life you know how we had talked about like um astrological calendars and mm -hmm. stuff about like um you know the summer being like the 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 coming into your own creativity kind of, and everything yeah vibrancy. exactly um so i mean even playing on something like that just like you know you're in that stage of your life but it's still cold and desolate kind of like so just you're seeing that youthful innocence lost mm -hmm. and then by the end you're kind of bringing them back bringing yourself back rather it seems like he's almost having a dialogue at some points because he's like i hope we laugh a lot but he wouldn't say that as the hymn of the past uh, the hymn of the future yeah he would say that as the hymn of the past and he was like well we turned out all right so yeah we're good um and it seems like in some points there's a dialogue of a back and forth between the mm -hmm. old hymn and the new hymn as if they're having a conversation um, I don't think that's pretty cool too, but I definitely agree with what you were saying. Like the summer's air is so cold, sounds of great streets, breathing and everything. It, it definitely sounds like he's trying to encourage him, tell him, look, just stay the course. We're gonna be good. Just mm -hmm. stay the course, and then that's dope. Yeah, let me start reading this because this is talking about how he had a young boy play him for the song to like uh like i guess either at a concert or whatever they was doing they yeah. as a child actor young will play them so it's like i said it's clearly a live performance of yeah. this where oh, the, it probably goes that. into why don't you react to it dick don't worry we'll, we'll get y'all yeah. we'll yeah. if you want to see the live reactions yeah. on the patreon it'll be up there yeah. uh, <laughs> yo you must have been a crack dealer in your yeah, former life everyone though else, my parents <laughs> both no the only crime no nah, we good. passed the uh, rico leader. rico <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find the bodies first <laughs> oh my god! But, uh, nah, loaded drip. No, I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Good. The yeah. Door, oh, the ATF. Yeah. You know, like in the early two yeah. thousand. Last Good. thing I was just gonna say was he said the lights what? of um, <laughs> the lights of your past are the lights that illuminate me right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know if that's saying basically that hope that like there was that feeling of happiness with me at one point. That's what's driving me to to kind of like be who mm -hmm. I am now or anything like that but there, there was a, a good amount of poetry in the lyrics as well as his vocal talent so that yeah I mean he snapped on this it could be like one of those the sun is at my back sort of statements you know what I mean yeah and it lights my way yeah so Look like comment subscribe share um for all of our army who are on YouTube we fucking love y'all to death um, y'all have done nothing but be supportive since the channel has started. Y'all have rocked out with us when our mics were shitty, when we were just getting Bruh, lights and everything up and going. They were horrible. Uh, the y'all, walls, y'all, the walls were falling bare. asleep. Yeah, the, Remember the, oh, yeah, the walls were bare. I was falling asleep, asleep and shit. Well, that yeah, that still happens. Like, <laughs> but fuck out there. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
Y'all, y'all been around and shit, and y'all really deserve so much, and we're gonna give y'all so much. <laughs> keep um, so y'all. you know, just keep paying attention to the channel. Exclusive <laughs> BTS content will be dropping for y'all in particular very, very soon. Love y'all guys to death. Love y'all. Happy care. birthday, Tay. Tay Day. Happy birthday, Tay. Way to go, Tay Day.